Roger Paul. I'm in Southern Ohio. Folks, here's what I wanted to show you. Look at the darkness back in here. But look, you got a ball here. Stripes here with stripes. Got one here and a big one right there. But look, you got this. You got a tail going up this way. And another one going up this way. See, look at that. See what I'm saying? See there? That's like a wing. And so is this one. If I ever seen them. Check out all the blue. The clouds should not be blue. Look at the red. But look at the detail. You know, we're looking to the east. Look right here. Look at this right there. Look at that. Wow. Looks like two tails. One there. One going down here. And that meets right there. I like my hand. Look at that. <laughs> I uh, pulled the muscle away from the bone and the finger. It's been that way for almost two months now. So I got to wear that. Another... Four months, I think. Okay, now look at this, folks. Look at this. Look how all that is. And then you see that? See how it goes? It's curved right there. But it, it comes in like that. And then it's got this right here. Look right there. You see there? That ball right there? See it? Wow, this is something else. Folks, we got to look at the color and the detail. You know the red tells me? Of course the red planet. I'm going to say planet because I have visually seen it. And I know what I seen. It wasn't blue beam. It wasn't harp. It was not a glow in the sky. It was a big, huge red object. That was 2017. And uh, anyway, look at this. Whoa. Anyway, it was... Uh, it had a red ob had a black object in front of it. Now look, if you see here, look how it's got like fingers here, here, and it's got something right there. See that ball? And then it's got all this, and then it comes into here. See? All of this, all of this right here is from this right here. It's something's right there. I'd say there's two objects because look at the look at the blue and the purple. You know, I mean, folks, I, I didn't see skies like this when I was a kid. Folks, we're looking to the south. Check this out here. Notice the purple. It's just about sunset, uh, folks. Um, I'm going to start building my personal channel. Uh, so, if you would like to subscribe to my channel. Here's the east. Look at that. Whoa. <clears throat> if you'd like to subscribe to my personal channel, uh, there will be a link in the comment section. Uh, go on over and subscribe to it. There will be videos that I show on my personal channel that I will not be showing on this channel because I really don't like putting the same video on two different channels. So I never have liked doing that. Look at this. Wow. It's like multiple objects. One here, here, here. Whoa. Look at this. Tell me if that ain't awesome. Wow, that's in the east, folks. Jeez, oh, freaks. Look at this. These tails go all the way. Look at this. Look at that, all the way to the northwest. Wow. And then look here. You got that and this coming off of it. That's going over here too. Folks, that's an object here. And one over here. That's why it's stretching from, you know, here, here, and here. That's why it's all connected to something over here. See? It's because we have electrical universe. That's, they are connected. You know, that's just basic knowledge you learn in school. But anyway, folks, let's look at the West. Uh, this is going to get better, so stay with me. All right, folks, here's the West. 
skippy right there, chemtrail. Looks like an object sitting here, debris probably. Uh, skippy's here again, another chemtrail. Look at that. Okay, folks, uh, stay with me now and don't forget to go subscribe to my uh, personal channel. Look at that, told you. Look at that. Now this is what's going over in the east. That's the northwest there. I mean, that was... This here, that's the fingers or whatever. <laughs> the ion drag-offs, I guess. That's uh, in the northwest, connected all the way over to the east. So you know that's an object. Two of them. There's a punch hole cloud. Punch hole clouds is what we see here. You notice how there's clouds here? And then one kind of couple streaking but it's actually clear right here in the center that's a punch hole cloud but anyway stay with me this is going to get a lot better oh, i used to i didn't believe in ufos people said i'd tell them they're nuts but uh i got a video where it was right here went all across the sky something that was cloaked it was cut into the clouds and everything. I couldn't believe it. I was like, no way. Never seen anything like that before, but I've seen it twice. And I've recorded it twice. But anyway, check this out. You've got like kind of, you know, like earlier, kind of like a comet. There's the comet itself. It could be right there. And here's the tail. That's what it reminds me of, folks. How about you? Skippy has been here. That's a chemtrail right there. Look at this big debris field and the purple, the purple color. And look at the green here. See the teal green, like a light tint of teal green right here. Oh, that's another object. See one of these, whoa, this here looks twisted. See how it comes down here and then goes, starts going twisting. Like you see right here and here. See there? Ooh, look at there. And that is awesome looking, isn't it? Wow. But uh, folks, we, we really need to prepare and get ready. I mean, to my knowledge, it's just any day. Still some red right there. Let's zoom in on this and look. See? Anyway, folks, it's really just any day. Look at the wispies right there. I mean, it's not hard to pick out dark objects setting behind all this. Because we can just look up in the sky almost any time of day and see these dark objects. You know what I'm saying? And... They're there. Look at the color, purple, the red. And I assure you, these objects are, they're there. You know, I didn't really believe none of this stuff until 2017. When I, we, uh, the wife had went to the store. It was about 15 minutes to 10, you know, to get some smokes before the store closes. And uh, she came back and she goes, I want you, or Skippy, came back and she told me, she goes, go for a ride with me. I was like, why? She goes, oh, there's something I want you to see. I go, what is it? She goes, I don't know. That's why I want you to go with me. So I looked at her. I was like, do I need my phone? She's like, no. It wouldn't have helped anyway because I had a Droid X at the time. And when I unplugged it, the phone would shut off. Well, we get, we get in our vehicle, and we head north, up that way. We go up there about a half a mile, you know, half, three-quarter mile. She goes, uh, look behind us, but look out the, over your left shoulder and look in the, through the back window of the van, you know, the back side window. So I did. And, man, I'll tell you what. 
It was the biggest, reddest object I had ever seen. It had a smaller white object in front of it. And I'd never seen anything like it before in my life. Now keep in mind, this is five years ago. And I'm 50 years old, so I was 45. Yeah, I can count. But anyway, it was sitting back there. Right back in there. And in a smaller black object in front of it, it scared me. I thought the world was going to end that night. And she asked me, she goes, what is it? I was like, I told her, I was like, I don't know. I've never seen it before. I don't know what it is. So, uh, we turn around and we go south. You know, we go back past our house, look at that right there. Remember I said something right there? Well, now it's getting dark, evidently. Sun's going down, sun's coming off of it, so it's casting darkness. You know, it's revealing that it's a uh, dark object. No light, because the sun's setting. Well, anyway, we go south, that way, back past our house, and there's a clearing down that way. And, uh, it's, it's, the, it's the type of clearing to where you're like on top of a hill and the trees, but you're on the road and you can look over the side and it kind of goes down like you're at the top of the hill and you know how the trees get smaller and smaller it looks like. Well, that means we had a clear shot. Perfect. No obstruction or nothing. No trees in the way. Nothing. And... We sat there in the middle of the road for a few minutes and watched this. And uh, it was over there. And, uh, well, anyway, we sat there watching it. And it was going it was going in. It was disappearing quick. And, uh, well, anyway, as it got three-quarter gone, I noticed that it had a blue halo around the red object. By that time, the uh, smaller uh, black object was gone. And uh, it, it blowed my mind, literally. You know, to see a blue halo like we see around our sun, you know, around a big red planet-sized object. I mean, it was planet-sized. And... You see, at that time, I was really trying to disprove this Nebiru ordeal, that there was no objects up there, none whatsoever, until I seen that. When we seen that, when my wife showed that to me, I knew right then and there that what I was hearing was true. And I've never seen this object since. I mean, yeah, the sky's gotten really red. It's gotten deep, intense red. But I've never, ever seen an object like that again. That was the only time I'd ever seen it. And if you look, look here. See how this goes like this? If you notice, it goes this way and then goes down. See? It's like that would be a big object. It starts way over here. Goes over like this, and then down right there. So that could very well be right there. A big object. And folks, I'm telling you, we are, we're going to see this. We will see this. I've done seen one of them, so I, I suspect that we're all going to see this. 